National Athletic Association Basketball Championship is reached the sectional round here, the championship game at the Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne today. Sectional one championship pits the New Haven Bulldogs, conquer of mighty Northup earlier this week against Bishop Gwenger. The Saints are in the championship game of a sectional for the second consecutive year. I'm Hilliard Gates along with my colleague Dick DeFay. We're delighted you've joined us here and we're waiting now for the teams to come out and they're ready to go. Let's go to the public address system. The announcer is John Churchward. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the rosters and starting lineups for today's championship contest. First, for the visiting team on the scoreboard, the Bishop Dwinger High School Saints. A 5'9 junior, number 10, Mike Scudder. A 5'10 junior, number 12, Tim Burns. A 5'9 junior, number 14, Dave Lyon. A 6'3 senior, number 20, Dave Westrop. A 6'7 junior, number 34, Chris Kinney. A 6'3 junior, number 40, John Sullivan. A 6'4 senior, number 52, Tim Pelkington. The starting lineup for the Saints. At one forward, a 6'3 senior, number 32, Randy Lewandowski. The other forward, a 6'7 senior, number 44, Pat Murphy. Starting at center, number, a 6'4 senior, number 54, Steve Fiacable. At one guard, a 6'3 senior, number 22, Jeff Rolfson. And the other guard, a 6'2 senior, number 24, John Coretta. The head coach of the Saints, Mr. Mark Johnson. And now the home team on the scoreboard, the New Haven High School Bulldogs. A 6'3 senior, number 11, Mike DeCamp. A 6'1 junior, number 12, J.R. Parent. A 5'10 senior, number 13, Brian Miller. A 6'1 junior, number 15, Brad Stouffer. A 6'5 sophomore, number 23, Ray Peters. A 6'4 junior, number 24, Paul Zerbach. A 6'5 junior, number 25, Steve Redman. The starting lineup for the Bulldogs. At one forward, a 6'3 senior, number 20, Troy Fritcha. The other forward, a 6'4 senior, number 22, Jim Miller. At center, a 6'4 senior, number 21, John Stewart. At one guard, a 5'9 junior, number 10, Dave Doster. And the other guard, a 6'2 junior, number 14, Troy Hopper. The head coach of the Bulldogs, Mr. Ron Hopper. And the officials for today's game are Ken Dickman and Dave Long. We'll be back with the opening tip-off in a moment. And we're ready for the opening tip-off, John Stewart and Steve Fiacato. And we're underway. Bishop Dwinger in the dark uniform. <laughs> Moving around the outside of a zone defense. This is a matchup zone inside. New Haven and Wagner have found the turnover. Intercepted by Dave Baxter. Dave into the attacking zone for the New Haven Bulldogs. Into the pivot, ball deflected. Picked up by John Stewart. 
Stewart scores. Now Stewart gives the Haven a two to nothing lead in the outset of the game. 7.28 to go in the first period. Bishop Dwenger, coached by Mark Johnson. Long outside shot. Coretta scores. John Coretta scoring, tying the game at 2 to 2. Coretta, an outside uh, three point shot, a 3 to 2 lead, three points on the shot. Turnaround jumper as uh, Fritchin misses. Coretta on the drive. Rolfson, Lewandowski, Rolfson from the left corner. Yes! Rolfson scores it 5 to 2. Bishop Doinger off to an early lead, doing what they do well, and that's fire the basketball through the rim. Roy Hoper, Tony Kircher. Ball is knocked away. Foul. This will be charged to Jeff Ralston. The Haven of 13 and 17 this year. Bishop Doinger 17 and 5. Mark Johnson with the team of the sectional championship for the second consecutive year. No Haven has been in three previous sectional championship games. Neither Dwenger nor New Haven has won a sectional championship. Not a shooting foul. Possession foul out of bounds to New Haven in white. It'll be Tony Fritch inbounding the ball. Jim Miller outside is to Holfer. Shot from the corner is way short. Taken by Troy Fritch, the leading scorer on the team. Toretta losing the ball, stolen beautifully by Dave Doster of New Haven. Into the attacking zone, the jumper short. Rebound controlled by Jeff Walton of Dwinger. We're just in the way, five to two, first period here at the Memorial Coliseum. Fia Cable going in, shooting and missing with a foul. So big Husky Steve Fia Cable on his way to Indiana University on a football scholarship. John Stewart, number 21, picks up the foul here. There's Fia Cable on the baseline, and there's a slap by uh, John Stewart right over the shoulder of Fia Cable. I'm not sure I didn't want to tangle with Fia Cable. Bam. He got hit pretty hard there by Stewart. John wanted to make sure he didn't make the basket. He scores on the first free throw. He's not been a good free throw shooter this season. He averages 3.4 points a game and scored just two points in this tournament this week. But who's going to argue with him? <laughs> He gets two, and Bishop Dwenger now leads it 7-2 in the early going. New Haven moving the ball around the zone defense of Bishop Dwenger. They move it quickly. They're a very quick ball club. They shoot outside well. Inside pass goes to uh, Troy Fritcher, and a foul will be charged against Bishop Dwenger. The score is 7-2. Dwenger on top. This is the only game in the IHSAA going on this afternoon. Charge the foul to Jeff Ralston. That's his second of this game, and we may see activity on the Bishop Dwenger bench. Possession play to New Haven. Troy Hofer with the basketball. His father coaches the New Haven team. Troy, an outstanding athlete. From the corner. He missed it. Pull down. Dwenger, Thea Cable breaking, going under, missing the shot. Rebound to Walton of Bishop Dwenger. To Thea Cable, dribbles in the traffic. Weaves it back out. The jump shot by Pat Murphy. Not good. That's only the second time Pat has handled the ball so far in the first period of this sectional championship game. Ball is knocked out of bounds. Possession now. Bishop Dwenger leading it by five. With the five minute 37 second mark of period number one tonight, we'll have Fort Wayne Southside against Fort Wayne Elmhurst at eight o'clock. Blistering game here last night with Concordia and South. Jump shot by Randy. Lewandowski averages 10 points a game. It is a 9-2 lead for Dwenger early in the outset of the first period. Into the pivot. Jumping, shooting, scoring, and a nice bank in play is John Stewart. Second leading scorer on the team. Had 22 points in this tournament this week until that field goal. Murphy shot is not good. Scramble for the rebound. Jeff Ralston comes up with it for Bishop Dwenger. Ralston shot. Is good from the corner. It's a two-point play. He was not all the way outside of that line. Nutting is tangled. Substitution, 13 utters. Brian Miller averaging 6.3 points a game. Going in at guard for the New Haven Bulldogs. Miller bringing the ball down now. They go into the pivot. And a traveling violation, as they called, against the New Haven Bulldogs. 
Miller pulled himself out on the outside, Dick, and uh, maybe going to have the ball a little more. Stewart made a nice move there, but he traveled first. Coretta, Lewandowski. Coretta, as you get familiar with these players with us. Ralston now for Bishop Dwenger. Lost only five games this season. Excellent offensive basketball team. Thea Cable and the high post. Back to Coretta. And the whistles blow on the lane. There'll be a pushing foul charged against Troy Hofer. Inbounded by Pat Murphy. Let's watch the play develop. Deflected but into the hands of Coretta. Now to Lewandowski. Back to Coretta. The left hander is short. Rebound struggle for recovered by Troy Fritcher of New Haven. A fast break. John Stewart has a stolen. The play by John Coretta. A Bishop Blender. Four minutes, six seconds to go in the first period. Ball lost out of bounds by Jeff Ralston. Inbounded by the New Haven Bulldogs. New Haven's using the same defense that they used against Northrop in beating the Northrop Bruins, but uh, they haven't had time to get it settled down yet. Wenger runs the ball a lot more than Northrop did. Banking shot is missed by Troy Pritchard. Rebound inside. This is Josh Stewart. Misses the shot. Rebounded by Walston. To Coretta on the break. They play a full court game. Wenger does the jump shot. Banked in by Coretta. He now has five points. And Dwenger is way out in front, 13 to 4, in the early going of this game. Stewart scores. John has six points. He has all of New Haven's points in the game so far. It'll be inbounded by Bishop Dwenger. Substitution 11 is Mike DeCamp going in for New Haven. Timeout has been called. We'll be back at the Memorial Coliseum with more action to score. Bishop Dwinger, Fort Wayne 13, New Haven Bulldogs 6. Possession, Bishop Dwinger. The Marion Giants were beaten last night by Mississippi, where we'll have a new state champion. And some of the other strong teams were eliminated. Jay County was one. Here's Coretta. Shot was blocked, knocked out of bounds by Troy Pritchard. Good defensive play by Troy of New Haven. The offensive end of the court for the Saints. John Coretta, fine all-round athlete. Lewandowski from the left, misses it. Rebound. This is uh, Mike DeCamp who was put in the game for his rebounding ability. He's 5'10", giving New Haven a little more size at guard. Troy Fritcher for New Haven. Whistles are blowing out the lane. Going to be a foul against Bishop Dwenger. Off the pivot. Foul is charged to 24, John Coretta. Chris Kinney going in. Coming out, Steve Thea Cable for Bishop Dwenger. Kinney, an excellent sixth man on this ball team. Brian Miller with the basketball. Troy Pritchett knocked out of his hand by Randy Lewandowski. They're playing Pritchett tough. Yeah, don't want him to get the ball if at all possible. Good outside shooter. Well, they're now in a man-to-man -man on the inbounds play. This is Pritchett. Lewandowski is on him. Hofer shot short. Rebound inside. Laid up and scored by Troy Pritchett. So that's the first basket, other than the three by John Stewart, scored by New Haven. It's now 13 to eight. Dwinger by five. Two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Ball is knocked out of bounds by Jeff Ralston. Substitution. J.R. Parent, a four-point-per-game average player going in. Replacing Troy Hofer for New Haven. Dwinger substitution. Good ball handler. Quick lad, Tim Burns. Not a scorer, but he's in there to run the offense. J.R. Parent for New Haven. Troy Fritcher. John Stewart. Outside shot. Got it. Good for three. Miller. Three points. 13 to 11. So 
New Haven right back in the ball game here with 2.07 to go in period number one. Lewandowski scores at a bank in. That's his second field goal of the quarter. 15 to 11. The Saints lead it by four. Man to man defense. Stewart lost the ball. Peretta, layup, left hander score. Peretta now with seven points in the game, and it's 17 to 11. For the Fort Wayne Sectional Tournament, Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne. Half court, left corner, bounding not good. Rebound pulled down by Pat Murphy, who has not figured uh, consistently out of the offense. Chris Kitty driving, jumping, shooting, scoring. Chris Kitty averages nine a game. Excellent sixth man coming off the bench. So it is 19 to 11. Winger by eight. With 70 seconds to go in the period, the ball is kicked, and there may be a foul. It is on Lewandowski. This is Wenger. Lewandowski picked up the foul. Going to the line will be Troy Fritcher, leading scorer on this team, averaging 17.6 a game. Not a shooting violation. Troy, 361 points this year, including two this afternoon. Traveling call. Turnover gives the ball back to Bishop Blinger. That's New Haven's fifth turnover of the game. Rebounds are about even. A little bit in favor of Bishop Dwanger, one or two. This is Lewandowski jumping, missing, foul. This will be charged to Troy Fritcher. So New Haven going deep on the bench in the first quarter of the game to get a combination that can stop Bishop Dwanger and also get some points on the board. Jim Miller has replaced Troy Fritcher. So Randy Lewandowski, 73% of the foul lane this season. He scores, fifth point, averages 10 a game. He's 6'3". Good baseball pitcher, and he throws the ball left-handed. Look here, he's shooting right-handed. Wants to play first base. So it's 21 to 11, a 10 point lead for the Saints at 50 seconds. J.R. Parent brings it down into Stewart. Loses the ball and the a jump ball is called. Stewart a little unhappy, not able to get that ball away. He had a, he was in his territory. He's talking to somebody. I don't know whether it's a Dwinger player or to the official, but he's a little bit unhappy. Thought maybe they roughed him up a little bit on the floor. Mike DeCamp will inbound the ball for New Haven. Jim Miller. J.R. Parrott. Mike DeCamp and the whistles blow off the lane to the right. Foul will be charged to Bishop Blinger. Looks like it's Chris Kitty's number going to be called here. Well, the play underneath there is pretty rough. You want to watch out for the elbows. Now watch Kenny, number 34 there. He's pushing Miller. Boy, is he pushing him. <laughs> Chris acts a little bit surprised when the official blew the whistle. Jim Miller will be on the foul line with 36 seconds to go in the first period. Also entering the game is Steve Redman, a junior for New Haven. And coming off the court is John Stewart. John got a little overheated, apparently, and uh, Ron Hofer doesn't want to lose him out there, so he puts him on the bench and let him settle down a bit. Here is uh, Jim Miller on the line, one plus one. Short. Miller a good free throw, 74%, but that was well short. So with a half a minute to go, it's 21 to 11. Dwenger on top against New Haven, team that took out Fort Wayne Northup in quite a ball game here a couple of nights ago. Gonna play it down for the last shot. New Haven is playing a matchup zone here. Ten seconds. Coretta with it. Seven, six. Lewandowski, Coretta, they want him to have the ball. Here's his shot. He missed it off the side. Rebound is just up here. A left-handed hit by Tim Burns scores. And that's the buzzer. The end of the first quarter finds uh, Bishop Glinger of Fort Wayne, the Saints on top over New Haven Bulldogs, 23 to 11. We'll have more following these messages. 
Here's the rebound by Tim Burns right at the end of the first period. A spectacular shot, and it goes through. And so that made it 23-11 in favor of Bishop Dwenger. And bowing the ball is Tim Burns to John Coretta. No changes in the New Haven defense. 23 to 11, the Saints on top. Good basketball game, but New Haven has not become on track yet. The ball is uh, rebounded by Troy Fritcher. J.R. Parrott attacking now for the Bulldogs. Husky land in the pivot is Steve Redmond with the basketball. Putting a little more strength in there. Back in the lineup is Dave Doster. Doster has it now. There's another fine athlete. This is J.R. Parrott. Man defense by Bishop Goinger. They start his zone. Deflected pass. Chris Pitty gets it up. Lewandowski. This is traveling will be calling Tim Burns. He didn't establish a pivot foot. Comes back to New Haven. New Haven averages 72 points a game. Entering for the second time, John Stewart. Second leading scorer on New Haven. Also back in is starter Troy Hofer. Troy Hofer. Dave Doster. Fritcher misses it. Rebound, nice rebound. Controlled by Pat Murphy. Murphy has some of the colleges in the Midwest looking at him. Lewandowski on the outside. Coretta's left hand jump is short. Rebound uh, controlled by New Haven's John Stewart. Troy Hofer. Doster, bounce pass intercepted by Murphy to Coretta, three on one fast break. Coretta off to Kinney, Chris goes under, loses the ball, picks it up, shoots and scores. And I'm not sure whether the play will count or not. We'll wait and see. Here's the call. Foul is charged to Troy Hofer. Troy Hofer, number 14 in the white, picks up the foul. There's the reach in. He tried to hit the ball and uh, hit Chris Kinney on the uh, arm. So I'm sure the basket will not count because the foul was called before Kinney could pick the ball up and put it off the glass. So it's Dwinger's ball. Comes out to Kinney. Chris drops it, picks it up, shoots, and misses the shot. Troy Hofer rebounding. Doster misses. There's a pushing foul. This will be charged to Pat Murphy, his first of the game. A correction the other way around. We go to the other end. They're going to get the foul on the number 20, Troy Fritcher. Boy, he's all over the back of Murphy on this one. Foul number two on Fritcher. As you can see, they're clearing out that free throw line pretty easily there, huh? Look at him. Tumbling all over like dominoes. We have a timeout here at the Memorial Coliseum. 6.29 to go in the second quarter. It's 23 to 11. We'll be back with more following these messages. Lewandowski at the foul line for Bishop Dwenger. He's two for two at the line this afternoon. Average 73% at the 15-foot strike. He's got it. Point number seven. Two more for Bishop Dwenger, and acted by Randy Lewandowski. 25 to 11. Fritch inside, gets the ball after some traffic and scores. Troy is an excellent basketball player, and he will get on track in this game. 25 to 13. Peretta, Lewandowski, Chris Kitty, short. Rebound controlled by Dwenger. Threader shot was blocked. Well, they're getting the rebound for Bishop Dwenger, and he's fouled as he went into the air, getting possession of the basketball. And it looked like uh, number 14 there, Troy Hoffer going high in the air, and as he went up, Threader started to come up also, and there's a foul. There it is again. Nice play by Coretta, who takes his man into the air to draw the foul. Here's John Coretta, 82% free thrower. Scores. Coretta has an unusual knack of turning his body to his right. He's a left-hander, and he kind of leans over to the right side, and, and it looks like he's closer to the basket than anybody when he scores. 
27 to 13. Bishop Dwinger on top. New Haven shot missed, taken by Tony Fritches. New Haven going to a modified press, but they get, drop back into a matchup zone. Coretta going inside. This is Murphy. Murphy shoots, misses, rebounds, and scores. Pat Murphy getting his first field goal, and Dwenger is pulling away again, 29 to 13, at 5:34 of the period. Beautiful long shot by Jim Miller. Well, three on that one, Hilly. <laughs> Dwenger around the zone. Tim Burns back inside. Murphy got away and lays it up. Excellent ball movement by Bishop Dwenger here. And it is 31 to 16. Dave Doster inside. Turn around shot as Stewart scores. Going to be a shooting gallery out here now. It really is. 4.54 to go. Charge the foul to Dave Doster of New Haven. One of the larger crowds we've had on Saturday afternoon in the sectionals in Fort Wayne in recent seasons. Here's Tim Burns. Mark Johnson going to his bench. We'll have a substitution at the moment. This is Tim Burns at the foul stripe. Misses. Troy Fritcher. Brian Miller. Miller driving, jumping, shooting, bounding, and good. Brian Miller gets the field goal. He has five points. 11-point lead for the Saints at the minute, four-minute, 42nd mark. 31 to 20, second period of the game. Foul has been charged to Chris Pitty, a little illegal screen. Number two. Well, let's watch this one. Chris Kenny, really, uh, let's watch his elbows here. There you go. Oh, man, he hit Stewart like a fullback. Going across the line of scrimmage. Well, it was quite a pick, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a beautiful pick. Check his teeth. <laughs> John Stewart, 78 free throw shooter. Not been at the line this afternoon. He has eight points. Steve Fia cable going in in a moment. For Bishop Dwenger. The 250 pound lad. Coming into your picture in a moment, right there. Chris Kitty comes out. So look at John Stewart. He gets two. So it is now a 31-22 nine-point lead for Dwenger and New Haven going to the press. They're trapping in the backcourt. And there is a blocking foul. It'll be charged to Troy Fritcher. Their leading scorer picks up his third foul. And that'll bring uh, some activity on the bench as Mike DeCamp will go in for Fritcher. The free thrower is Lewandowski, Randy Lewandowski, the senior. And score. He's five for five at the line. Tim Burns going in for Dave Westrup, who was in very briefly. Elmhurst and Southside play tonight at 8 o'clock. Southside outlasting Concordia in a very, very excellent ball game last night. Whistles blow before the shot. It'll be charged to Burns. Elmhurst had to come from behind. Got a shot with four seconds to go to win it. Tim Burns, number 12, wasn't sure the... Well, he wasn't sure whether his number was 12 or not because the official pointed to him 12. There it is. Tim looks down. Huh, I'm 12. Foul must be on me. Doster says that's right. I want to go to this charity stripe and see if I can't pick up a couple of points here. One plus one. Free throw. He has it. Dave's a B student. Well, him an outstanding baseball player. Probably the most natural athlete on the New Haven basketball team. That's his first point. He gets two. 
His free throw percentage is only 51 for the season. Coretta's jumping, shooting, and bounding, bounding, bounding. It's good. Coretta. That's that soft touch of John. 35-24, Dwenger, at the four-minute, five-second mark of the first half. Dave Doster driving, going in, and scoring basket counts. Foul on Tim Burns. So here is New Haven coming back now. Excellent play by Dave Doster. Doster and Burns, probably the two smallest men on the floor right at the moment. Here's Doster making his drive down the lane. Oh, it looked like he traveled there, and uh, Burns was right with him all the way. I couldn't really see a foul coming. Let's see if we can catch it here. Oh, yeah, I bumped him a little bit right there. Free throw, yes, he's made three in a row in the last few seconds. It's now 35-27, an eight-point lead. At one stage, uh, Dwenger led 25 to 11. Getting closer in the final stages of the first half. Coretta short, rebound uh, pulled down by John Stewart. Mike DeCamp, Dave Doster. Man-to-man -man defense by Bishop Dwenger. John Stewart. Jim Miller, scores! He's a good three-point shooter, Hilliard. Three points. Inside, that was Murphy having it blocked, but over the shoulder, it's John Stewart picking up a second foul. Well, let's watch this one closely. There is number 21 coming in. There is the slap. Well, could you tell? Did he hit the ball, or did he hit him over the shoulder? Lewandowski will go to the free throw line, regardless of what we may have thought. The official said it was a foul. Here's Pat Murphy, or Pat Murphy, I'm sorry, I said he didn't doubt you. He scored. That's his fifth point all in the second quarter. We're at the three minute, 19 second mark of the second period. The Haven Bulldogs and Bishop Dwenger. Dwenger getting out to a huge lead early, but the Haven is coming back. Rebound pulled off by Jim Miller. Dave Doster. No change in defense for the Saints. All alone, layup missed by Jim Miller, but he is fouled. Miller got in behind uh, his man. His man could not find him, and uh, timeout is being called here. It'll be charged to Bishop. No, it'll be charged. It'll be charged to uh, New Haven. 36-30, six-point lead for Dwenger. We'll be back with more action following these messages. Six-point lead. Here's the uh, last play just before the timeout. As uh, yeah, they did Miller call a, went in there. Did call a foul on Thea Cable. Yep. So here is Jim Miller at the foul line. Seventy-four percent at the stripe. Missed his first free throw of this game. He has two three-point field goals in the contest. He shoots. He misses. One more. Miller's a three-point play field goal percentage this year was 33 going into this game. There's his first foul conversion, and it is 36-31 as the Bulldogs have pounced back into the thick of this game after being down by about 14 at one stage. Tim Burns for the Saints. Pat Murphy on the pivot, jumps it, and scores it. So it's 38-31, a seven-point lead. Bishop Dwenger. Brian Miller shot is too strong. Burns. Coretta missed it, overshot it. Rebound controlled by New Haven. Mike DeCamp. Brian Miller. Doster going down, jumping and missing it. Ball stolen out of Coretta's hands by Dave Doster. Doster of New Haven. Doster again. Inside. Outside. Scoring three-point play. Mike DeCamp. So it is 38-35, a three-point lead for Bishop Dwenger with two minutes, three seconds to go in the first half. Three-point play is bigger, large in high school games. 
That's two points scored by Randy Lewandowski. So it is a 40 to 34 six point lead for Bishop Goinger. Still playing their man to man defense. Scramble for the loose ball recovered by New Haven. Brian Miller jumping, shooting, missing it. Rebound taken off by Pat Murphy. They double team him. He dishes the ball off to Tim Burns. Burns into the front court. Passes the ball and deflected. Goes to the sideline, but it's out of bounds. It'll be Dwenger ball. Back into the lineup is Steve Redmond for New Haven. <laughs> Got a fan, a couple of fans over there caught one of the players from uh, New Haven. Coretta to Tim Burns. Fear <laughs> Cable missed the shot. Rebound not good, but a foul. They call this one on Jim Miller. Well, let's see if we can catch the foul. Looks like DeCamp here, number 11 over the back. It is Mike DeCamp hitting Steve via cable. And uh, via cable, 6'4", 245 pounds will go to the free throw line. Two-shot call. He's two for two at the stripe this afternoon. 71 seconds to go in the half. It's good. And that'll change that 33% at that line. <laughs> Both Bill Mowry's up here watching you. Well, they ought to play him at center if he can hit the basket from there like that. Yeah. 42-34, eight-point lead for Dwenger. Dave Doster for New Haven. Steve Redman on a high post now for New Haven. <laughs> New Haven working. Outside of uh, the defense, it's a loose zone. Dosser shot is not good. Rebound to Dwenga. Burns, 45 seconds. Passing off, deflected. Intercepted by Brian Miller. Miller of New Haven on the drive. Feeds it to Doster. Doster baseline left goes up. Scores! <laughs> oh. Dave Doster, what a play. Way off balance. Now they're going to take it away from him. Not count. They're taking it away. He traveled. It'll not count. Hey, catch this one, folks. This is quite a shot. There he's hit, knocked down, throws the ball up in the air, and they call him for traveling. It looked like he traveled after the ball went into the air. Here's Wenger's Tim Burns coming down. Half a minute to go in the first half. It's been a good one. Ball is knocked away. Foul will be charged with Tim Burns. Of Wenger, his third of the game. Burns had the ball knocked out of his hands. New Haven player picked it up. That was Doster. And then Burns tried to get the ball back, and he fouled Doster. Boy, Doster, 5'9", junior, is uh, all over that court out there for the uh, New Haven Bulldogs. Swinger is putting Dave Westrup in immediately to get Burns out because he has his third foul. And there are 29 seconds to go. Doster with one plus one. He's three for three at the line. High arch, and he missed it. Murphy rebound. Dwenger in possession. John Coretta. Randy Lewandowski to Coretta with 18 seconds. They'll wind it down to the last shot, perhaps. Doster does, has uh, other ideas. The wave is still pressing. Doster knocked the ball away. Recovered by Coretta, his shot is deflected into the hands of Lewandowski, and he scores. Lewandowski laid it up, and that's the end of the first half with a score. Bishop Dwenger, Fort Wayne 44, and a battling New Haven team, 34. We'll be back with scoring and some guests following these messages. Back here at the Memorial Coliseum, going over the scoring, 44 to 34, Bishop Dwenger. Randy Lewandowski has 14. Pat Murphy with seven. Steve Fia Cable has a total of four. Jeff Rolfson, four. John Coretta with uh, 11. And uh, Tim Burns with two. And Chris Kinney with two. For New Haven, it's Troy Fritcher with four. Jim Miller with seven. John Stewart with 10. Dave Doster, he has a total of uh, five. And Mike DeCamp with three. And Brian Miller has five points. 
in this basketball game. 23 to 11, Dwenger at the end of the first quarter, halftime, 44-34 in favor of the Bishop Dwenger Saints in a very interesting basketball game. Moving out to join us here now is Terry Flynn, the coach of Fort Wayne Southside, whose team will be involved against Elmers tonight in the number two sectional championship game at the Memorial Coliseum. Terry, first of all, congratulations on a tremendous victory. It was a hard fought one come from behind effort. Well, it was about as hard as any we've had. We were behind all night, and in the last few seconds, we got ahead, and that was it. So it was a real good victory for us. Well, I know the fans would uh, like to see the final seconds of the game. You and I are out here on the floor, but uh, we'll cue the final few seconds of the game. Now, you stalled out a long time at, right at the end of the ball game. You didn't take a shot till what, about nine, ten seconds to go? Or even uh, maybe seven. But what happened is we didn't have any timeouts left, and we took the ball off the uh, missed rebound, and uh, we really didn't have a set play, but we've got certain rules within our offense, and we just kind of passed it around and passed it around and, and uh, hit uh, when a player was open, it just happened that it took down to six or seven or eight seconds, whatever it was. So uh, a little patience there. And I think two or three weeks ago, we probably wouldn't have shown that patience. And so finally, we're getting into the fourth quarter and we're we're holding up. Or J.T. Bonner made the basket. Yes, he uh, he got he, he received the ball with about a few seconds before that and passed it away and then moved back to it and got it back. Now, a couple weeks ago, the way we were playing, more than likely he shot that, and it really wasn't his shot, but coming back in was. So that's just the difference between winning and losing. Can you re-gear yourself now for the game tonight? Well, we hope so. We had a meeting this morning and uh, got the kids off their feet, and uh, uh, we played Elmhurst twice and split, so we know it's going to be a tough game, and the kids know each other, and so it's uh, kind of a neighborhood rivalry, so it ought to be a good game. Perry, are you split uh, with Elmer's during the season? You won at Southside, and then you lost uh, in the SAC at uh, IUPU. Uh, well, we did split, but the uh, first game, it was the other way around. First game, we, we got them, and then I always think if you lose, you kind of got an advantage the second time in because they make adjustments and the winners don't. And so they came into our place with some adjustments, and uh, it was enough for them, and now we're from the losing end, and hopefully we can make a couple adjustments and, and give us an advantage. Well, congratulations on a great victory, and it should be an excellent ball game because there should be a lot of baskets uh, going, a lot of balls going through the basket. Yes, it should be. Good thank, luck, th Terry. Thank, thank you. you very much for joining us. Today. Uh, thank you. We'll be back at the Memorial Coliseum with more following these messages. Robert uh, Gardner is the assistant commissioner of the Indiana High School Athletic Association out of Indianapolis watching our fine uh, sectional championship here this afternoon and we're delighted to welcome him i think the first time he's joined us at this microphone and camera since he got his job a couple of years ago first of all congratulations and it's great to see you thank you Hilliard. i'm really enjoying it uh, any basketball fan would certainly enjoy this ball game today interesting uh Dwenga going out uh, getting a good size lead 14 points and new haven coming back well, New Haven's made two runs at them. They made one in the end of the first period there, and then again there in the, in the second quarter, and uh, Dwinger's been able to withstand that. But the pace of this game, conditioning is really going to tell, and it's going to be an interesting second half. I think you started with 384 teams approximately, uh, maybe one of the most wide-open tournaments we've had. Well, I think that's right. You know, last night, Marion went out, a three-time defending state champion to, to Mississinawa, and uh, it's just wide open. And, you know, up here at this Sima State, you've had some familiar faces for several years in Marion and Northrop. Now both of those are out, so uh, it's going to be really wide open here in the Fort Wayne Sima State. Congratulations on a magnificent girls' tournament. Well, we certainly were proud of it. Uh, of course, you have the champion here in this city, and they played very, very well. And uh, we drew an all-time record crowd, and we just hope things are going to continue from that point. Well, uh, we're looking forward to another great championship in Indianapolis on the 26th. Really, it doesn't make much difference what four teams get down there. They're going to be tough. No, it'll be a great tournament, and uh, whoever's still surviving uh, on that Saturday, I'm sure, will provide a lot of thrills for all the basketball fans. Robert Gardner, thank you so much for joining us, and come back again very soon. Thank you, Hellyer. Robert Gardner, assistant commissioner of the association. Here is Dick DeFay with a scoring recap. Thank you. And very quickly here for the uh, Dwinger Saints who are leading here at halftime, 44 to 34. They've hit 48 percent of their shots. They've had 15 free throws and they have converted 13 of those. They've only missed two charity tosses. New Haven has hit 50 percent of their shots, 12 out of 24. They've had nine free throws and they've converted six. 
Dwinger out rebounding New Haven 19 to 12. The turnover is pretty even. New Haven with eight and the Dwinger Saints with only seven. Statistically, that's all we have right at the moment. Interesting game. I don't know what's going to happen in the second half. You seem to play in spurts for two or three minutes. We have some great basketball, and then for a minute or two, we find players all over the floor. So let's uh, see what's going to happen here in the second half. Well, Dwinger had a little more poise at the beginning, but New Haven began to regain some poise uh, in the middle of the second quarter. New Haven seems to work better when they go into an all-court press. We'll see if they come out doing that here in the second half. Well, and he's got the bench. He's has, had to go deep on the bench early. I'm sure he didn't plan to uh, play that many players. Uh, Ron Homer didn't. We've got a good crowd today, so maybe we better get back to our seat before somebody takes it. <laughs> well, you'll probably sell yours. <laughs> and I might buy it. We'll be back at the Memorial Coliseum with more activity of Section 1 Championship following these messages. Taking a look at the Dwinger scoring, uh, Randy Lewandowski uh, with 14 points to lead the Saints. Pat Murphy has picked up seven. Steve Via Cable has four, as does Jeff Rawlson. John Coretta with 11, and Tim Burns and Chris Kinney each with two points. For the New Haven Bulldogs is Troy Fritchie with four. Jim Miller has seven. John Stewart leading the uh, Bulldogs with 10. Dave Doster has five. Mike DeCamp with three points, and Brian Miller coming off the bench has five points as we get ready for the third quarter of play here at the Memorial Coliseum. New Haven comes out with a lineup that started the ball game and it'll be New Haven possession at center court. Inbounded by Troy Fritch has been held at four points here by a strong defensive maneuver by Bishop Dwinger. They're in a zone now. They were man to man during a part of the first half. The ball is loose picked up by Dave Doster. Missed. And Lewandowski rebounds for Bishop Dwenger. We on the air tonight at 8 o'clock with the championship game in sectional two. Neither one of these teams has won a sectional championship. Troy Fritcher still off target. Rebound struggle for it's loose. Picked up by New Haven. Here is Doster trying to go through, but a foul was called before Doster got the ball. This will be charged to Jeff Rolfson, his third. Jeff Rawson, number 22, for uh, Dwenger picking up the foul. There's a loose ball. Fritcher has it. There was a little bit of a bump right there by Rawson, his third foul. Here's Fritcher shooting from the corner, but it is a little short. Chris Kinney rebounds. He started the second half, did not start the game for Bishop Dwenger, but he has excellent size and good rebounding talents as well as scores well. Wild pass will be out of bounds, be given to New Haven. New Haven is down by 10. Ron uh, Hofer, the coach of New Haven, is a native of Etna Green, Indiana. Foul. They'll give this one, I believe, to John Coretta. No, they'll, sorry, to 34, not 24. It's Chris Kitty, his third. That was one of those little sneaky reach-in fouls. I'll try and get the ball. Intercepted by Chris Kitty, stolen. Coretta driving for the Saints. Ball right through the hands of Jeff Ralston and out of bounds. So the turnover gives the ball back to New Haven. Dwenger had seven turnovers in the first half. New Haven eight. But Dwenger has turned the ball over twice already in the third quarter. Shot is missed by Troy Hofer. Rebound is blocked. Another rebound blocked again, but a foul. This will be on Pat Murphy, his second foul of this game. Steve Fia Cable coming in. Stewart making a tremendous rebound effort here. There he goes high in the air for the shot, and there is a foul, a slap by Pat Murphy. That's only his first foul, so Pat's not in any trouble. Let's try it again. Yeah, the Murphy still fouling him. The free thrower is John Stewart, leading New Haven score in this game. He has 10, including two out of two at the line. This is the first one. The Haven and Bishop Wenger did not play each other during the regular season. The Haven NEIC champions. 44 to 35. Ron Homer coaching New Haven in his fourth year.
Langer outside the zone, matchup zone. They match up inside. Turn around, jump shot, bounding, bounding. Scores by Pat Murphy. He has nine. 46-35. Dwinger on top. Three-point shot is missed. It's taken by Jim Miller. Thea Cable. 48-35 as Dwinger draws away a bit again. It's a 13-point lead. The biggest margin was 14. Dave Doster a three-pointer? No. Lewandowski rebounds. Foul. Dave Doster just reached out and grabbed Lewandowski as he went around him. Time is being called by New Haven. We'll be back here with more action at the Memorial Coliseum in sectional tournament number one following these messages. Here's the last play just before the timeout, and there's a foul by Doster. Reach around foul, and grabs a little bit of arm of Mr. Randy Lewandowski. Not a shooting foul. Swanger inbounds the ball. Lewandowski on the right side into the corner to Jeff Rolfson against the matchup zone. They work a play. Layup scores by Thea Cable. That's a set play. High-low post situation. They clear out one side and put a man inside down low and went on the right or left of the foul circle. So it's 50 to 35 as the Saints lead it by 15 at 520 of the third quarter. Ralston on the rebound. Fear cable. Misses it. Stewart rebounds. The ball is stolen. Scramble loose. Still loose. Picked up by John Toretto. Bishop Dwenger has never won a sectional. They have played for two previously. Ball is deflected. It's picked up, laid up, and missed by John Stewart. But a foul off the board. <laughs> foul will be charged to save Fia Cable. Ball's like a hot potato out there today. So Haven off the range. That last shot from the side by Brian Miller. Toretta's jumper, yes. 52-35. Dwinger on top. Intercepted pass by Jeff Ralston. John Toretta shoots up the line, misses it. Rebound in the air. The whistles are blowing. No basket. It'll not count. Foul has been charged inside. And it'll be a charging violation, I believe, to Lewandowski. <laughs> Lewandowski says, look, they pretty near pulled my pants off, and you're calling a foul on me. Let's watch Randy here, number 32. There's his pants almost off. They grabbed a hold of his pants, <laughs> but they call the foul on Lewandowski. He says, hey, ref, look, this can't be. <laughs> well, they're not sure who's going to shoot the foul. It's going to be Troy Fritcher. Fritcher's on the foul line for the first time today. Shoots 81% during the regular season, has just four points. He's the leading scorer in New Haven. I said early in the first period that he'd get his uh, shooting eye, but he hasn't been able to find it yet. That may help. 52 to 36. He gets two. So Haber without a field goal in the third period with 4.11 to go. Wenger has not shot a free throw in the third quarter. Ralston drops the ball, recovers it, throws it inside, and it's bashed out of bounds by John Stewart. playing for the good shot. 
Ferrata takes it. Missed it. Troy Hofer, long football pass down court to Fritcher. Short. Kind of hurries the shot today, doesn't he, Dick? Sure does. There is a collision and a charging. No, a blocking foul has been called. It'll be charged into Haven. And it is Troy Hofer. Number 14 in the white, Troy Hoffer. Whoa. Boy, that's no way to stop the big man, is it? Got him for blocking. Not a shooting foul, so the ball will be given out of bounds to Dwenger. That was team foul number four. Invited by John Coretta. Tight defense by New Haven. Wenger taking a little time off the clock here. They do the up high low play again, and this time uh, Pat Murphy gets the field goal. That's exactly the same play they weren't moments ago. 54-37, Bishop Wenger playing very, very well here today. Stewart's shot is not good. Rebound. Pritchett. Ralston, too long. Knocked out of bounds, who touched it last? They call a foul. They are on Steve Fia Cable. The free thrower is Jim Miller. Time has been called here at the Memorial Coliseum. 2.44 to go in the third. It is 54-39 in favor of Bishop Dwenger, and we'll have more following these messages. Back at the Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne, continuing action in the third quarter. It is 54 to 39, Bishop Dwenger on top, in one of their fine performances. They lead a good New Haven team, 54 to 39. Free thrower is Jim Miller, one plus one. He gets it. He's now two for four at the stripe. Ordinarily a 74% free thrower at the stripe. He's been held at two field goals, both three pointers. He scores it. Into the lineup is 11. That's Mike DeCamp, who played quite a bit in the first uh, half of the game. Coming off the court is uh, Jim Miller. Jim was considered the most improved uh, New Haven player this year. Ball is deflected, knocked into the backcourt. It's Stewart coming down and scoring. John Stewart on a fine play. His 13th point, and it's 54 to 43, 225 to go on the third. Still a long way to go, and a foul is charged to J.R. Perrin. Tim Burns coming back in. He has the most spectacular shot in this game, a rebound at the end of the first half. 5'10", Junior, he'll be back for another year. Coretta. Randy Lewandowski. Back inside to the corner to Lewandowski. Yes. He has 16. I don't believe I've ever seen Dwenger this sharp. Uh, I don't either. The, they're moving the ball good. They got good speed and uh, they got good strength. They're On the bench, good. that is. Yeah, they do a lot of things very, very well. Coretta steals the ball. Coretta coming down hard, drives, lays up too hard. He gets the rebound, but it'll be out of bounds because he came from the out of bounds line inbounds to make the catch. And they're going to call a foul. Call a foul on the trailing man on that particular play. And the trailing man was uh, Lewandowski. Right. Number three. Let's take another look at that now. Here's quite a shot. There's Lewandowski coming over the back of a Troy Fritja. Troy Fritja at the foul line. He has eight points. Nine and goes for 10. 
One minute, 56 seconds of the third. Tonight, Fort Wayne Southside and Fort Wayne Elmers. Two more for Troy Pritchard. Tim Burns, Lewandowski. Burns underneath Thea Cable, yes. Six points for Steve in the third alone. 58-45, Bishop Dwinger. Basket scored by Brian Miller. He could have stepped back one time. He could have had a three-point, but he only gets two on this one. New Haven pressing more. They're well outside of the foul area. Tim Burns scores. 60 to 47. 110 to go in the third. Stewart loses the ball. Shot by Parrott is short. Dwinger rebounds in the last minute of the third quarter. Burns, Coretta. Lewandowski gets the layup and scores again. He has 18. Averages 10 a game. Brian Miller's long shot was not good. It would have been a three-pointer. There's Pritchard going in, but he is fouled by John Coretta, number two on John. John Hofer shouting something to his team before they line up around the foul circle. Mark Johnson, the coach of Bishop Wenger, in his fourth year as head coach, came out of Brookfield High School, went to Ball State, was an assistant coach at South Bend, a South Bend foul with George Griffith, who now coaches Richmond. Apparently success breeds success, then. Two more for Troy Fritcher. Half a minute to go in the third. Coretta fakes. Let's see if they have another one of those plays going. High and low. Burns. There's Thea Cable. Nobody underneath. And a play for the last shot, apparently, in the third quarter. Lewandowski. Probably try to set up Coretta for a three pointer. Foul against New Haven. Five seconds remaining in the period. Foul is to John Stewart, his third. You look at Ron Hofer in the New Haven bench. Toretta shot not good. Picked up by New Haven. The ball is thrown the length of the court. As Brian Miller misses at the end of the third period with a score, Bishop Dwenger 62 and the New Haven Bulldogs 49. The end of three quarters of Section 1 Championship at the Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne. Back in a moment. And we're ready to resume play in the final period in possession of uh, Bishop Dwenger. And there's a New Haven Saint, and he really is. <laughs> Ball is knocked out of bounds by Steve Fear Cable. Really, that was in the uh, New Haven cheer section. Stewart had it knocked away and out of bounds. Sixty-two forty-nine. Troy Hofer back in with the basketball now. Outstanding student and athlete at New Haven. Ball stolen by Dwenger. Lewandowski misses the shot. Rebounded by Troy Fisher. Three on two fast break. Fisher going down higher. Goes under and misses the shot. A foul at the other end of the court. Hold everything. We got a rule that uh, Bishop Dwenger was out of bounds. One of the Saints is scrambling for the loose ball. Hit the baseline. So Pritchard will inbound for the Bulldogs. 
Dave Doster. Mike DeCamp. Pritchard, three-pointer, yes. Pritchard gets three. That's his first one of the game. So it's a 10-point game at 7-12 of the final quarter. Now Hammond draws the foul. This will be charged to Mike DeCamp. Ron Hope of the coach of the Bulldogs. This quite a basketball player at Manchester College. He played there four years. His head coach at Nobleville for three before coming into the New Haven system. Here's Todd Murphy. He scores. Sixty three to fifty two. Coming back into the lineup is Jim Miller for New Haven. And coming off the court is Mike DeCamp. So Pat Murphy. Gets two, seven minutes to go. Intercepted pass. There it is. He had a dunk by Pat Murphy. So he got four points in about ten seconds. <laughs> Dave Doster. Pritch's long shot. Three-pointer is good. He's hit two in a row. So it is 66-55. Those three-pointers cut that lead in a hurry. But a foul. Boy, I hope we're getting number four. New Haven tried to two-time the man with the ball. There's Fritch at number 20 and Troy Hoffer coming in from the backside. Coretta didn't even act like he was fouled on the play. But Hoffer knew that he had committed the foul, and so did the official. Yeah, our parent has got in. Troy Hoffer comes out for a little bit. He just picked up his fourth foul, but he should be back. The free thrower, John Coretta. Red has 13 points. Average is 18.5. Here cable on the rebound. Swinger retains possession. Man-to-man -man defense by New Haven. They have to give up that matchup zone. Here cable drives, goes under, misses the shot, rebound to Lewandowski. No basket on that shot. A foul that call before the shot. And it could be on Troy Fritcher. It is on Troy. Watch it. Fritcher just cannot match up with the height of Pat Murphy. There is the holding foul on Fritcher. Fritcher got his hands out of there very quickly, and then he looks at the ref and said, no, I do, I, no, you can't call it, ref. Murphy is three for three at the foul line. Look at the Haven cheerleaders. Pat Murphy, six feet seven. Vastly improved basketball player. And on this team, varsity for two, second in rebounds, and second leading score. Averages uh, about 10 rebounds a game. This is the free throw. 67 to 55. A little more than six minutes to go in the game. John Stewart in that vice there. And Fear Cable will draw it. New Haven's only scoring in the fourth period at this moment. Two three-point plays by Troy Fritcher. Even at that, they've outscored Dwinger this period, right? Six to five. Six to five, right. Stewart is three for four at the line. He has 13 points. Misses in and out. Randy Lewandowski. Steve Fia Cable, Lewandowski. They'll eat some time. 
Beretta. Tim Burns. Playing tightly, man-to-man -man defense of the Bulldogs. Coretta so down the baseline. There's a collision, but he was on the baseline before the contact. And the turnover gives the ball back to New Haven. Coretta's got to have somebody blocking for him. <laughs> Another three-point attempt. Not good. That was Pritchard again taking it. Five-and-a-half-minute mark. Pritchett intercepts for the Bulldogs. Loses control, goes back, picks it up. Sees Doster, and he scores, and he's fouled. Doster scores. He now has seven points of the game. He'll go for a possible three-point play as Lewandowski draws his fourth foul. You know, just when you think, well, New Haven can't get back into this ball game, they do something, and sort of turn things around and now they're still hanging tough here with uh, just over five minutes remaining in this ball game. Yes and a three point play in their pocket. Maybe two. <laughs> Doster gets the three pointer. So it's a nine point lead 67 to 58 with 517 to go. Tim Burns for New Haven. I am beg your pardon for Bishop Goinger. They have a high post play and breaking off is Lewandowski and he scores. Nice play. Good feed from John Coretta. Five minutes to go. 69 to 58, 11 point. So Haven loses the ball out of bounds. Ryan Miller couldn't handle it. So Haven with pressure defense goes into John Coretta. John is a, a very excellent shooter. We won't try any silly ones at the moment. Wenger setting it up to Pat Murphy. Going under is Thea Campbell, and he scores. And he's fouled. The basket will count. But Wenger expands his lead quickly with four minutes and 32 seconds to go in the game. The foul is charged to John Stewart, his fourth. Stewart got his man uh, behind him, and then he turned around to try to catch up with him, and he made the foul there, and Stewart, of course, not very happy with himself. That's his fourth foul. Back at the Coliseum, following these messages. <laughs> 71 to 58, four minute, 32 second mark, and Steve Pia Cable has had a good second half with a total of eight points, goes for nine. He had four in the first half, off from the foul line. This is the free throw. Thea Cable is an excellent track star in the shot put. Troy Pritchard. Brian Miller. John Stewart. Stewart scores. He has 15 points. And that's about his per game average. New Haven still in a solid press. Driving is Carretta. Throws it to Thea Cable and they bring it back out. Four minutes to go, 71-60. Fort Wayne Bishop Dwenger trying to win their first sectional championship. Traveling call back in 1968, Fort Wayne Central Catholic with Leon Young Peter coaching, won a sectional championship, went all the way to the semi-state that year, and Leon is in the audience this afternoon. So is uh, Jerry Mitchell of New Haven who tried for two sectional championships in the title game, but lost each time. Miller misses the shot. Murphy scores. 13-point lead. Doster. Stewart, nice play. Stewart with 17. Yeah. 
Johnny Cretter comes up with the basketball. New Haven still battling out there. Ball is thrown away. Turnover to New Haven. That's the eighth uh, turnover for Bishop Dwenger in the second half. They have 15 for the game. New Haven with uh, just uh, four turnovers in the second half, eight in the first half. Dave Doster. Long three-pointer attempt scored by Troy Pritchett. He has three of them in the final period. Nine in this quarter, all from the three-point range. Blocking foul, Brian Miller. 73-65, an eight-point ball game. It's out on those three-pointers total in a hurry. It, it seems like they do. double the score instead of just uh, make three. And a team can be down, and that doesn't uh, frighten them any bit anymore because they know well a couple of three-point plays, and we're right back in this ball game, so they don't give up. 73 to 65, Bishop Dwenger. Mark Johnson, of course, is Bishop Dwenger, coached at Lewis Pass High School for two years. Brian Miller, number 13, commits a foul on Coretta. He bumps him with his hips there. Brian's got to get over in front of Coretta a little quicker. Then maybe he can get a charging foul. Good look at a great athlete, John Coretta. So it's a 10.75-65 lead for Dwenger, but New Haven has the ball. Dave Doster driving, losing the ball, out of bounds. Nobody touched it. He kind of lost the dribble and went off the baseline, out of bounds. New Haven still pressing all over the court. Lewandowski, ball is stolen. But it'll be charged to Jim Miller at his first. Uh, Johnson, the coach of Bishop Dwenger, is married to lovely Judy. They have three girls, five, three, and one. And I asked uh, Mark earlier if he wasn't coaching basketball, what he'd like to do, and he said he likes to play tennis. Three girls, he can't start a basketball. Yes, he can, too. He sure can. Lewandowski makes the free throw and runs it to 65-75. Good free throw rhythm. He has 22 points in the game. That leads uh, Bishop Dwenger this afternoon. Three-pointer, John Stewart. Jim Miller. I'm sorry, Jim Miller. Thank you. Intercepted pass, Dave Doster coming down. He has it blocked, it was out of bounds, and he Falls on his head there. I think he did. He bounced, bounced his head off the floor. I'm not sure of the seriousness of it. We'll just watch and see. They're having the trainers and the coach come out. He's all right. You can see in the play, watch him bounce his head. There's Doster getting fouled over the shoulder. Ooh, he hit the end uh, of the basket very hard there. Here comes Doster. Here comes Coretta. Grabs his arm, and that threw Doster off balance, causing him to hit the floor and then roll into the uh, end of the basket. Coach the officials, Ron Hoff uh, was very unhappy about that. Well, uh, the the trainer ran out on the floor, and I think the official uh, wanted a signal to bring the trainer out, and I think he just asked him to go back and sit down, and he would check on the seriousness of the injury. For a second, it looked like it might be serious, but I saw him moving around, and so uh, Dave is all right. The doctor are taking a little bit of a break here on the bench now, as time has been taken by New Haven. They trail 77 to 68. We still have two minutes and 11 seconds to go in this ball game, and even with 2-11, uh, you can get two or three three-point plays, and uh, you've got nine points. You're right back in this ball game. Well, Concordia had some to build their lead in the final period of the game against South last night, but it uh, melted. you got to hit those free throws on the one-on-one -on -one situation, and uh, the cadets had a little trouble doing that in the final minute of play. Eventually, it cost them the game. The Dwengers led throughout this contest. They started off with a 23 to 11 lead at the end of one. They expanded to a 10 point lead at the end of uh, the half, 44 to 34. They led 62 to 49 after three. And now they're holding on to that nine point lead with 2.11 to go in this ball game. But New Haven is not giving up. They're still alive. <laughs> 
Ron Hofer, the coach in New Haven, has two children, one attending Indiana University. He's trying to get Fritcher loose. He misses the three-pointer. Rebounded by Bishop Dwinger's Lewandowski. Two minutes to go in the game, and Dwinger leads it 77 to 68. There's a foul. Charge it to Jim Miller, his second. Well, well, that was a quick me, Dick. I was going to say, that was a quick foul. <laughs> really wasn't much contact on that play. But enough to have a foul called against Jim Miller. And it'll be John Coretta. He has 15. The reason we didn't have a foul shot taken by Doster, he did not make the basket. It was not a shooting foul. Coretta has totaled 16. His average is 18.5, and he may get it. John has played an excellent team game here this afternoon. He's given the ball off uh, frequently, getting a lot of assists, rebounding well, playing a complete game. New Haven's basket is by John Stewart, his third of the final period. So it's a nine-point game with a minute and 42 seconds to go. Coretta underneath Fia Cable, yes, from Tim Burns. 81-70. Dave Doster jumping, shooting, and scoring is Doster. 81-73. Eighty seconds to go in the game. It would appear that Bishop Dwenger will be winning its first sectional basketball championship of all time. I'm sure a great moment for Mark Johnson and his team. This foul is on Brian Miller. A minute and five seconds to go. It's 81 to 73. J.R. Parent coming in for New Haven, replacing Jim Miller. Jim has uh, really battled out here. He struggled early in the game. Did not score in the first quarter, but he's contributed three three-point plays to the Bulldog total today. And John Coretta will be the free throw shooter. Four out of five for him in this last quarter. Well, it's 82 to 73 and 65 seconds to go. Rebound is to Murphy. He scores! 84-73, under a minute. The basket is scored by Brian Miller. Time is called. Allowing Jeff Ralston to go back in the lineup. Fifty-two seconds to go in the game. I think this has to be uh, quite a moment for Mark Johnson in his fourth year at Bishop Dwenger. Uh, didn't have too much success in the early part of his career there, but the last couple of years they've come on very strongly. Fought for a sec sectional championship last year here, lost to Elmer. And uh, he's got the horses this year. Randy Lewandowski at 6'3", Pat Murphy at 6'7", Steve Fia Cable at 6'4". Got a lot of height on that team. Chris Kenny at 6'7". Uh, Chris will be back again next year. He's only a junior. And this team very proficient from the free throw line. And the, uh, after three quarters, they had hit 13 out of 15. I think they only missed three free throws here in the final four free throws in the final quarter. So... Uh, they're picking up the points from the charity stripe, but New Haven has no other alternative. They've got to foul and try to stop the clock as much as possible once uh, Wenger gets the ball out of bounds. Well, we had a good look at both coaches there, and uh, Ron uh, has really battled with his team here this afternoon. I'm sure he's uh, exhausted physically and emotionally. Wenger gets it in bounds to Coretta. Ball was knocked out of bounds. It'll be Wenger's ball with 51 seconds to go. That play took one second. And it's 84 to 74. Dwenger by 10. Jeff Ralston, and he is fouled. We'll give that to J.R. Parent. 
Coach Hopper apparently said, whatever you do, don't foul Coretta. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ralston on the line for the first time this afternoon is a 63% foul shooter. The winner of the Fort Wayne sectional one, which appears now to be Bishop Glenger, will play the winner at Columbia City in next Saturday's regional. Remember, the regional games are all on Saturday this season. Ralston misses. Rebounded by Randy Lewandowski. And a foul. Brian Miller. Second. They're going to give it to Fritcher. And Fritcher fouls out of the game with three, six, nine. Dick, take the replay. Okay, Troy Fritcher. Rebound picked up by Lewandowski. Woo! There's the slap by uh, Troy Fritcher. That's his fifth foul. He goes out of the ball game. Well, Fritcher. Fritzer leaves the game with uh, 21 points, Dick, and he had only four points in the first half. And when we made the prediction that he would get his average in this game, why, well, it turned out that way because he's a remarkable athlete. This is by Lewandowski. Dave Doster coming down for New Haven, driving hard, goes around Coretta, goes up, banks it up, misses the shot. Rebound in the air, missed by Stewart. And out of bounds. 33 seconds to go. That's a good number. <laughs> New Haven ball. It's John Stewart missing the layup. Rebounded. Doster. Dave Doster getting the rebound. 84-76. Tim Burns is fouled uh, by Jim Miller. That's his third. And Tim Burns will be on the line as the Bishop Glinger fans are waiting 17 seconds so they can celebrate this championship. Dr. Eugene White will make the presentation for host school Wayne High School. The runner-up will be New Haven. They'll get the basketball. The trophy will go to Glinger. Here's Tim Burns, who has four points. Junior will be back next year. 85-76. He scores two. 85-76. Doster reverse layup scores. He has nine points in this quarter. Seven seconds. It is 86 78. Four, three. Third shot in the air. It's all over as Bishop Blinker wins the sectional championship 86 to 78 for a battling New Haven Bulldog team from New Haven, Indiana. So our congratulations to Bishop Blinker, their first sectional high school basketball championship. And there. The winner's cheering section, Bishop Glinger, in a fine 86 to 78 performance against the battling New Haven basketball team. Tonight, it'll be Elmhurst against Southside as two SAC teams go at each other. And this is an historic moment for Bishop Glinger High School. We'll be back with a presentation in just a moment. <laughs> And the 1988 sectional one tournament. Congratulations. The, ki <laughs> On behalf of the uh, Indiana High School Athletic Association, gives us the great pleasure to present to you your first basketball sectional championship. Congratulations. Mark. Here is my 
Derek Johnson, the winning coach, and I know this is the happiest moment of his coaching life. I agree with you, Hilliard. You always remember your first, and this is my first as a head coach, <coughs> excuse me, and it's the first for Bishop Dwenger, so we'll never forget this one. Your team came out to play. They really played magnificently this afternoon. You beat a good basketball team. We got a good basketball team. We said that from day one. We say it now. We got a very fine group of young men that worry about nothing except playing hard and playing together, and I couldn't be more happier and more proud of them than what I am right now, Hilliard. What's the difference in your team this year and last year? You got to the championship last year and couldn't get the throne. Well, it's a work ethic, Hilliard. Last year we did a lot of stuff that uh, wasn't very good. At times we were selfish. At times we thought about ourselves, and uh, you don't win when you do that. Well, this year we came, we set one goal. We didn't worry about the holiday tournament. We didn't worry about the city. We didn't worry about how many games we had. We set one goal to win the sectional. We worked extremely hard, and we were fortunate to get it, Hilliard. What about next week now? Well, we're very happy to be here. Uh, we went over. We scouted last night, so we'll play a very good basketball team, whether it be Columbia City or Manchester. But it makes no difference who we play. We're going to represent uh, sectional one very well. Can I say that this was the best team effort I've seen Bishop Doinger have? Well, I don't know. We played very well at times, Hilliard, uh, all year. We played very well against Snyder. We played very well today. And uh, you, you can't do it with one. You do it with 12. And we did it with 12 in this tournament. Well, congratulations, young man. I know you're very proud, and you should be. Thank you very much, Hilliard. Mark Johnson, the coach of Bishop Doinger. They're going to get a team picture here. Dick, while they're doing that, why don't you get the scoring? Okay, will do for the victorious uh, Bishop Gwenger Saints of Mark Johnson. They hit 58% of their shots in this ball game. They took 51 and hit on 30. They had 33 free throws and they converted 25, missed only eight. The New Haven Bulldogs hit 46% of their shots in this contest. They had 59 uh, shots, hit on 27 of them. They had 21 free throws and they converted 16 of those. Now let's check the rebounding. Uh, Dwenger out rebounding New Haven, 35 to 24. And far as turnovers are concerned, they're pretty even. Dwenger with 15, and New Haven had 13. So statistically, that's about it, Hilliard. Well, they're still celebrating out here. Final score again was 86 to 78. We'll be back tonight at 8 o'clock, bringing you play-by-play -play the championship game between Fort Wayne Southside and Fort Wayne Elmhurst. They broke even in two games uh, this year. Uh, should be a high-scoring affair and a very colorful affair. We appreciate your joining us here this afternoon. I, uh, I was hoping that we could get a couple of these players out, but they want to take some team pictures, so we won't interrupt that because that's history and that's for posterity and we can interview them again at another time waiting to see if we want to hold on here for just long enough that's it we'll be back at eight o'clock tonight memorial coliseum sectional two championship hinder gates with dick the fan our fine crew and their names will come up on this screen in just a moment we'll see you at eight o'clock bye everybody This has been 1988 IHSAA Fort Wayne Boys Sectional 1 Basketball Championship. Brought to you by Eckrich, makers of quality pranks, smoked sausages and cold cuts. Eckrich, the very best from our house to yours. By Perfection, bakers of Sunbeam, Hillbilly, Less, and Country Hearth Breads. By Colonial Homes by Delagrange, the very best. By Kaler Nickel Medical Centers in Bluffton and Fort Wayne, Indiana, and Salina, Ohio. Taylor Nickel Medical Center, your lifeline to better health. By Shankles Dairy, don't forget to thank Mom for buying Shankles All-Star Dairy products. And by Scott's Foods, say yes to Scott's, your low-priced leader. Be sure to join us tonight for live coverage of the Fort Wayne Sectional 2 Basketball Championship beginning at 8 p.m. This has been an exclusive live presentation of Sports Center 33, area leader in television sports for 35 years.